Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to compare a list using the pivot table feature. In a previous video uh, I actually showed you how to compare lists using a conditional formatting feature and you can go and check out that video. I'll show you up, pres present a link uh, at the end of this video and you can go check that out. But this is just another way to compare some list and this is using the pivot table. So we have this list here, list 1 and list 2. As you can see here, uh, this value almond appears in list one and list two. Uh, however, if we go down here, Blizzard Blue does not appear in list two here. This is an alphabetical order, so it's a little easy to eyeball. And with a pivot table, that can be done where we would, uh, in this example, actually, I'm using um, the pivot table, and you can see that it's counting how many times a um, it shows up in list, in the first list or the second list. And you see Atomic Tangerine only shows up once in both lists, in the count of the list that it's here. And uh, Blizzard Blue only shows up once. The rest show up twice, which is in line with what we have here. So in order to um, use a pivot table to kind of compare a list, what we need to do is actually put them, kind of rearrange the format a little bit. So what I'm going to do is create a new sheet here. And from our first list, I'm just going to copy these values. Control C, select the values, Control C. Uh, let's put color up here because actually these are the colors of Crayola crayons, if you haven't noticed. Um, so I'll put the color and I'll put the list number. These are going to be the headers. So let me go back into our list tab. Control C to copy that. And we'll do Control V to paste it. Let's double click this to give it uh, automatically fit here. And this is the first list number. So what we can do is we can type first and keep typing first or whatever, but you can also bring this fill handle down and it'll copy it all there. Now we've got to get our second uh, list. So I'll go ahead and select that, Control C, go back into Sheet 3, and Control V to paste. And another way to copy values down is just select the first cell and just kind of drag it down here. And then without clicking anything yet, just type in second, S-E-C-O-N-D. -E and just then press Control, Enter. And you can see that it copied everything down, which was kind of nice. Now to do for a pivot table, what I'm going to do is I'll just kind of select anywhere and um, either go into insert pivot table or I like keyboard shortcuts alt n nancy victor tom nvt and it's going to bring up the create pivot table dialog box I'm going to put the pivot table on this sheet so I'm just going to put it anywhere just, let's just pick a nice cell here d d5 so like d5 click ok so I'm going to bring the color down into the row label and then I'll go ahead and bring the list into the values. So I'm going to count it how many times it shows up in the list number. So almond shows up twice because that's because almond shows up and it'll count that as one value and it'll count that as a second value. So we can see here that uh, the ones that are just one so are atomic tangerine and blizzard blue. So if you wanted to make this a little easier to see we can just select this column and just uh, right click, sort, and either smallest or largest or largest or smallest. So largest, smallest or largest will give us our first two items that only show up in one uh, list. So that's one way to compare uh, uh, whether or not some items show up in one list versus another list. The nice thing about using a pivot table is um, you may have multiple uh, lists. Let's say that there's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then it. The pivot table is kind of nice that it will be able to give us a count of uh, kind of further. It kind of lets us expand our counts. So if we've got a numerous amount of list numbers that uh, we wanted to count and see if there's any kind of uh, duplicates or if one value shows up in another another list. Uh, we can use a pivot table to show that for us. So that's just kind of a short way to see how we can compare items uh, between two lists or with a pivot table, multiple lists. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.